Hello Rush developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Ross answers, which is this one, which says Ervid receives LIDAR messages but does not display. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now let's start with the video itself. So for that, I'm going to use RDS as always. So let's go to ROSDS, to ROS Development Studio. And here I'm going to create a new project, which I'm going to call Laser Airbus. That's it. Then let's select the Gazebo 7 AMI. And yeah, let's create it and open it. Now, while this is opening, I'm going to to go to the repository for the tactile simulation. I'm going to be using this simulation for, for the example, for showing this example. Okay, we have already ROSDS loaded, great. Now let's see here, he says, hello, I am trying to visualize laser scan under leather topic in Airbus. Laser scan receives messages, but Airbus does, does not visualize laser scan. I already checked this question, but I guess my problem is not the same. It's not the same. Then, so yeah, as we can see here in Airbus, he's receiving the messages, but he doesn't see nothing in Airbus. And here he shows the output of our Rostopic Echo, which is quite uh, significant in this case because of the values, but we are going to see this in a moment. So for now, let's clone our, our simulation. Let me open an ID as well. And here I'm going to go to the simulations workspace and I'm going to clone the simulation a total boot simulation there we are almost there let's make this a bit bigger okay So now I'm going to go to the kinetic branch in case it's not already there. Okay, then let's compile the workspace. And meanwhile, I'm going to come here to the Tatrabo Gazebo package to the launch file. This is the launch file I'm going to use to start the simulation. And basically here I'm just going to load an empty wall, an empty world with nothing but the Tartrobot robot only which is, I think, I guess it's the case of this user, he has only the robot but nothing else in the world so I'm going to launch my Tartrobot robot with an empty world, as you can see here with nothing there okay, so we are almost there this is finishing compiling There it is. So now I'm going to start the simulation. Let's come here to the Tartrobo Gazebo package main.launch, which is this file I have just modified. So this will load for us a, a Tartrobot robot in an empty world. And meanwhile, let me open another shell where I'm going to open Ervis and uh, graphical tools in order to visualize our Vs. Let's move it here to, to another tab. So here I'm going to start RVs, which I'm going to be able to see here in the graphical tools window. There it is. It's loading, great. Let me change the frame to base link. And I'm going to add here a laser scan displays, display, obviously. Here we have it. 
And in the case of this simulation, we are going to see now which is the topic we need to configure. Okay, so here we have our Torchobot robot. There we have it. it in an empty world. Now, if we do here a Rostopic list, we will see this topic, the Kabuki laser scan, which is actually the one that is publishing the laser data. So here, for instance, we can do a Rostopic echo of this topic. And we will see that it's publishing information, as you can see. So here we have some metadata about the header, the minimum and maximum angles, inc angle increment, uh, maximum range, which is 30 meters in this case. And these are the, the ranges for all the beams, all the values that the, that the laser is getting, which in this case are all too infinite. Why? Because there is no object in the world, so the laser is not uh, detecting uh, any object. Yeah? It's not colliding with any object, the laser beams, so the readings are infinite. Yeah? And this, I assume, is the case of this user, as we can see here, with all the ranges values are infinite. Yes, these are the intensities, which is uh, another thing, but the ranges values, which are the, the current readings of the laser, of each beam of the laser, are infinite. Yes, as we have now here in our case. Then, let's come here to the graphical tools, and we are going to configure here the topic, Kobuki laser scan, and then me add as well the robot, like he has. Uh, robot model, there we are. So here we have our robot. We are receiving messages, as we can see here, from the laser, but we are not seeing uh, nothing. And this is normal, but can you, can you guess why this is happening? Well, the, the answer is pretty stupid, but this is basically because, uh, well, as you know, uh, a laser has beams which go all the way. In this case, it's more or less, it's a little bit more than 180 degrees, so more or less it covers all this area in front of the Kobuki robot, the Tartabot robot. Then these beams are not colliding with anything. Hence, the laser is not detecting anything, hence we cannot visualize anything in RVs. So what happens now if, for instance, I add here an object, let's add here in front of the robot, this cylinder, and let's, well, let's first of all do our Rostopic Echo again. We will see now that our infinite values, we still have infinite values, but in the center, more or less, we are now having some data, some data, because the laser beams are detecting this cylinder here. And in RVs, we can see now here, in front of the robot as well, let's make it a little bit bigger, here, the laser beams are detecting this cylinder that we have placed right in front of our robot. Yeah? So, for this user, I assume that this is your case. So, this is perfectly normal. Since all your values are infinite, your laser is not detecting nothing. And this is why you cannot see anything in, in, in RVs. So, if you place something in front of the robot, in front of the laser, you will see that it appears in RVs. Yeah? So, yeah, pretty quick, the video of today. I hope you have liked it, uh, you have learned something new. And if so, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and remember to subscribe to our channel. We are publishing nice videos almost every day. And, yeah, that's all. See you in the next video. Goodbye.